if you still need some gifts to put under your tree, we've got the place for you. That's right. We're going to check back in with Dennis Valera, who is down at the Lord Baltimore Hotel. Dennis, last time you were down there, you were looking for ghosts. Now you have Christmas trees. What a change. <laughs> What a difference a month or some change can make, right? Now, I'm here joined by the Baltimore School for the Arts, and they actually designed one of the couture trees that are in this room. So first, we're going to talk with Stephanie here to my left. So Stephanie, thank you for joining us. Yeah. Uh, talk a bit about, this is your first year doing this, right? It is. This is the first year the Baltimore School for the Arts has joined the Couture Christmas Tree Project. We're excited to be here because it gives the students an opportunity to really use the skills and the talents uh, from multiple disciplines and yeah. departments at our school. So we have music, visual arts, stage design production, all were involved in this tree today and yeah. getting them to be able to engage the community yeah. in this way and really show their uh, talents during the holiday season is great. I mean, it's really cool that you all are able to do this. And speaking of the students, and K2 has their dress up on the screen for you. We're joined by Lexi and Eva. So you two, thank you so much for joining us. How are you two doing this morning? I'm doing great. Awesome. Yeah, I'm doing good. Awesome. So, yeah, I mean, K2, he's showing the viewers at home what you all created. And it's really, really beautiful. Where was the idea for this? Um, originally, we um, based it on the sketch that we had. But... Um, we all added stuff to it, like we put it on a big board and we all drew on it and added like our own personal touches and things from each department. Cool. Anything to add? Yeah, okay. there was definitely a lot of trial and error. We started with the sketch and then we found, we gathered up some materials that we had like extras of and we pretty much went to the mannequin, like some of the trim that we have on there, we kind of just draped it on to see how it would look and we found materials. Put together we use mostly recycled materials i mean yeah. this this is straight out of like reality tv show yeah. avant-garde unconventional materials project one way drag race all that <laughs> stuff it's really cool i mean where did the music inspiration come from um i think we were mostly at first thinking about the nutcracker and we were thinking about putting together something that showcased all of our departments that's why we have the music notes and we use masonite to make the cut out music notes on the skirt yeah and um i just want to point out that you two are ninth graders and the fact that you two are having this opportunity to do something like this get in the city showcase your artwork how's that feel to be able to do that it's really exciting and i really like that even though like it's a fiber art like it's like regular arts almost like mm -hmm. physical we got to add a lot of music aspects because I'm a vocalist and so I love that it was not that it has music in it <laughs> awesome awesome well everybody thank you so much for joining us for this short time uh, everybody again just a reminder these couture trees are up till January 3rd enjoy a drink from the bar or coffee shop I know I've been pushing the bar for all hour but there is a coffee shop here as well they have some snacks I, ha I enjoyed some in between live hits here so uh, CNN and Tim back over to you you like what you like Dennis it's okay <laughs> no shame <laughs>